Hi Shreya, how are you doing? Hi Kriti, I am doing well till now. Okay. How are you doing? I am doing very well. So tell the people watching something about yourself. Um, so if I would like to introduce myself, I am Shreya as she already mentioned. Um, I am the uh, University Level Student Council representative of the Department of Media Studies. Um, something to know about myself is I'm a very optimistic person who believes in smart work more than hard work and is obsessed with the color blue. I think that's a good introduction, I hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So, how has the journey of being the student council representative for the whole media department has been so far? Um, to be very honest, uh, the journey started off online because of the whole pandemic thing. It then gone, uh, went up to being hybrid and then finally offline. So the transition from the online mode to the offline mode has been very uh, difficult for me and it has definitely been a roller coaster ride for me. But uh, people are getting used to working uh, in the council and uh, I am getting used to being the head of uh, arranging and working with the team towards a particular goal to achieve something. So it has been difficult, I wouldn't lie about that, but uh, yeah, it still is taking time to like settle in. So that's how I would, uh, you know, explain my journey up till now. Definitely, the journey has been a roller coaster for you, as we said, and there are many challenges that have been and it started online. So yeah. that's the highlighted point. And the thing that you are managing it so well and you are definitely on the path to do that. So it's definitely worth it, right? I hope so. <laughs> okay, so what is one of the most stressful moments in the journey? Uh, would love to know from you. Uh, one of the most stressful journeys up till now was a day when I had to handle a lot of responsibilities. So before being in the council, I was part of uh, a student organization called CSA, the okay. Center for Social Action. And also right. I'm in a pro uh, state of production. So it's difficult to manage time between so many things that you do. But uh, when there's a proverb, right, where there's a will, there's a way. So sometimes stressful situations do come up, but uh, I tend to focus myself on the passion that I have for the things that I do. So uh, I just try to face all stressful situations with a smile on my face. But sometimes things get too stressful. Sometimes things uh, are just out of your hand. You cannot do anything about it. That's your just your breakdown point. And things have been like situations have been like that for a couple of times up till now. One online, one offline. Because earlier we used to have two representatives from the department. So now that has that it has changed to just one. The entire uh, responsibility the responsibility just comes on me. So sometimes it's stressful, but uh, at the end of the day, when I just look back on my journey from being the deanery level student council member to being the university level student council member, it has been a very fulfilling and a fruitful journey for me. So I just think about that stress and I'm like, okay, you got this. It's just a phase, it'll go. So that's how I uh, go through it, I feel. Okay. So I think I just love your line as you said that you deal with all the challenges and you have a smile on your face always. So yeah. I think that uh, people watching should actually take this. <laughs> okay. So what are your roles and responsibilities under this? Okay. So one of the major roles that uh, we have to, you know, uh, represent the, you know, represent the department at a university level. So it definitely the part of me being the university student council representative for the department of media studies, I have to form a bridge between the students and the management. So under my, uh, you know, the st classes that I handle are CEP and JP English, that is communication and journalism. So uh, when we combine all the classes, it becomes around around one K students. So when things, there's a hierarchy that we follow, right? Class representatives, council members, faculty, HOD. So when things go out of the hand of the class representatives, there's something uh, that they cannot solve. The ma matter comes to the school level representatives and then to me. So before it goes to the faculty, if I have a solution to that, if 
because since I have been in the college for like three years now, so I'm gonna complete. It's my final year, so uh, I know certain things that the first years, obviously, first and second years wouldn't know. So they come up to me and my classmates as well. They come up to me for things that, I, as council members, we know something more than the usual pe like usual students because we get exposed more to the management to the university. So because of that very fact, when they have any issues or any concerns or any suggestions or proposals for the betterment of the university or for the department, they approach me so that I could take it forward with the faculty, with the heads. So or we recently had a vice chancellor meeting yesterday where we did put out suggestions, did put out our concerns, and he was very keen on listening to us. He was very keen on making us understand certain points. So that's the hierarchy that we follow, and that's how changes have been uh, visible in the university. And uh, there's a healthy relationship both from the management side and from the student side. You can't just take one person's one uh, person's opinion, whether it's the management or the student. You have to listen to both sides of the uh, conversation and then decide what you want to do. So that's the thing that I have to handle, and that's my role. Okay, so I think you are really bridging the gap and you are the mediator between students and the yes. management who has the power to do the things correctly and uh, according to the benefits of the students. Yes. Okay. So with this duty, there are certain uh, expectations. So how do you, you know, uh, stand on them and how did you get selected back then as well? Okay, so like I said, I was a deanery level student council representative. So when I was in my first year, there were two people handling the, the university student council position from the Department of Media Studies. If I would, uh, I would like to take the names, that is Dhuvraj and Ritika. So one was from CEP and one from JP. So when I saw them on the very first day, I was like, uh, they, they do get a batch, so I have a batch myself. So they do get a batch of sorts and they wear uniform and come to college and uh, like for, on the first day of orientation I see them and I'm like okay maybe they are very important people and they are doing something uh, for us so I was like I want to be there someday uh, when the day went they passed uh, the college and then the new set of USC's came in I was looking at the difference that we can see not comparison but you know there's a standard that everyone look up looks up to like okay, I want to become what they had. So my seniors also had that vision of becoming what the our super seniors are. So now my expectation and from everybody, the expectation from me will be like how the previous batch was, how the previous USCs were, they would expect the same from me. Maybe a little more because I'm combining both the duties of two different uh, uh, programs. So uh, the expectations are there. Sometimes it's difficult to you know, uh, carry that forward or like uh, just, you know, accept some certain things which are not under, uh, you know, whatever you believe in or something. But then uh, there's an understanding that happens between you, your uh, so school level student council members and the faculty around and we come to a common consensus about that. So uh, back then when I got selected, uh, we didn't know that it was going to be one person. So. Uh, there wasn't. There were interviews, and interviews were taken by last year's uh, university student council members plus the student coordinator for our school, that is Padma Kumar sir. So uh, that happened. Interview happened. They asked me certain questions before the interview. We had to submit a statement of purpose about why do we why do why do we want to get selected as a university student council member? How well can we carry out that responsibility? Uh, so when the interviews happened, when the results were going to be out, uh, we got to know that our previous USCs told us there was just going to be one university student council members. All of our hearts just froze that time because, you know, at least the competition isn't that much when it comes to CEP just or JP only. So when the competition is all together, it just is too much for you when you know that okay now the other person also is in competition right now so all our hearts froze that time and it was online so like uh, when they just uh, said my name i was i just froze i froze i was like okay and the others were like congratulations Shan. i i just couldn't feel myself because uh, getting selected from a large group of people uh, and 
getting that responsibility which is gonna be burdensome as well as fulfilling is i had a confusion in my mind whether to be happy whether to be sad as i'm the sole representative but uh things have been okay from that time and uh, i think i am handling things in a good way i wouldn't say the best way but uh, yeah i do think about my previous uscs my super senior uscs and how they carried out some time some events and how i can be better than them or maybe just up till their level so that's the expectation that i have and all of the other people that see me and have seen them would also have so yeah okay so that's had that has been a wholesome journey and yeah. you are already on that path and getting selected uh, the only one getting selected yeah. from such a large number of students is really commendable and um, the reaction of getting chosen can be really understandable yeah. <laughs> okay that's a genuine thing that happened uh, and i was like okay <laughs> right so how do you manage time between studies and extra curriculars and give time to this responsibility <laughs> so i just mentioned right uh, about how i'm into other committees as well right. so it does become difficult uh, when for example you have a cia to complete and then you have an event coming up and then you have a uh, session there and uh, acting process there something but then when you are the you are representing a certain department you are expected that it should be a priority so obviously when we were we were selected we were told the first thing that student council should be your first priority like after academics of course but it, when there's extracurricular activities concerned student council should be your first priority so there have been times when i had to choose one thing over another but i have never regretted that because something fruitful came out of that and uh, but i do continue to be active in all the things that i do because as i mentioned passion so my f- sole uh, purpose to come to christ firstly was because of the vibrant culture vibrant uh, activities that we have around the campus so i was like i have to complete everything that's there on campus uh, by the end of third years and i have reached quite the end i think so i have been able to accomplish most of my goals so that's how i maintain academics academics will always be there and uh, you know how college works now since you just completed your fir- you'll complete your one year in college so then you will find time uh, for uh, you know if you want to do something 9 to 4 you will be in class for uh, before 9 or after 4 it's just your thing to do except cias of course but that's the time you need to explore yourself and do not I, i would suggest to everyone especially who are joining christ to just live christ and do not uh, you know feel that there's not much you can do with uh, the college that you are in there's lot of opportunities lot of activities and you can definitely manage your time so that's all i think that is uh, most true about christ because it gives a vibrant culture and a whole yeah. lot of activities to explore yeah Okay, so tell us something about the admission process, or like, uh, give some suggestions to the aspiring students who want to join Christ, because this is the peak time for students as yeah. well. Okay, so as per the admission process is concerned, I think it's a bit different this time than what we were when we uh, got admitted to Christ, because now it's happening happening online. So we didn't have the option of online. We had to first start. obviously it was the first entrance test has to be there and then post that we had a personal interview and uh, there would be a writing ability test also where they test your writing skills uh, that was what i did after coming to bangalore i did give my personal interview and writing skills both but uh, i think for you it's the same thing but it's online uh, it's the entrance is also going to be online and the the process is i think online then coming to uh, my experience in christ and what i would say to the <laughs> people who as- aspire to be a christite uh just be confident just be confident about whatever you're choosing whatever you think you are good enough for because i chose uh, cep because communication and media was something that uh, because my father i have seen my father so my father is an actor 
so that's why i have seen how he has grown from being uh, f- he has been in the industry like from a regional hollywood industry for like 25 years plus now so i've seen him grow from what he was and what he is now so somewhere that media uh, gene was there in me i feel so that's why i chose communication and media and of course psychology is something that i would urge everyone out there to you know learn somewhere or some day in your life because it's extremely important i didn't know the importance of that uh, before joining christ and um, english is uh, has been my favorite subject since my very uh, first grade so the combination itself is so good like you get to when you communicate with another person you get you should know the psychology and the way you communicate also plays a major role in that so if you are sure about why do you want to you should have an explanation as to why you want to choose this course or why you want not not ct in general i'm just saying in general any any course that you want to uh just be sure and have an explanation as to why you want to do that do not be forced or do not come under any pressure to join any course because at the end of the day you wouldn't be get any fruitful result from that so be confident in your interviews and do not uh, fear that uh, you know this is such a great institution and uh, i wouldn't fit that because i had that uh, conception in my mind because i am coming from a state odisha i am coming to bangalore to was a very big shift for me it will be a shift for you it will be a transition a great transition but at the end of the day things will uh, settle in and whatever happens happens for a reason so everything that ends well so that's how i would explain uh, for the aspiring try states so yeah right so lastly uh, i would love to hear some tips for the overall tips for uh, the students who are aspiring to become the student council in whatever university they go in okay. so some general tips around that okay so there isn't any trick or tip that i could give to be in the student council because i when i see the other council members that i have in my group they are very different and they ha- they come from uh, different cultures different traditions so definitely it's a different feeling but the only thing that you should keep in mind that the ability to lead a team and the ability to work as a team and the ability to uh, take responsibility of that team so teamwork is the key that i would say so yeah i think those are the three things that i would like to uh, tell every every person that aspires to be a leader not only for the council but as a leader yeah yes okay thank you so much sha for coming here it was lovely listening to you and we got some really wonderful tips thank you so much thank you prithi it was wonderful uh, interview for you Yeah, speak. Speak. Louder. How will you speak? <laughs> Hi, Kriti. How are you? I feel fine. Can say something? Hi, Sha. Tell me about something. Tell me something about yourself. How are you doing? What's happening around? 